Hey everyone, uh, Dr. Tanner Dobson out of Nelson, BC here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing uh, some footage of the installation of a dental implant bridge that we did this week. Uh, this was a patient that was referred to me to replace some teeth in his upper right quadrant. So we, we did that with dental implants. And this is the kind of payoff appointment where we give him his teeth back. Uh, so we had uh, we had placed a couple of implants in uh, in the area where the teeth were missing a few months ago, and here's the uh, here's an X-ray showing how the uh, implants look in place, and we were happy with that. The next clips are going to be showing how we actually make the bridge that goes onto the implants. So we first take a scan, an optical scan here uh, of these posts screwed onto the implants themselves. Uh, and then that gets sent to a computer assisted design software where the shape of the bridge actually gets designed. Um, once the bridge has been designed, the shape of the bridge, we mill it out in a milling machine that I actually have right in my office here. And then this chalky white material called zirconia then gets baked in an oven overnight where it hardens tremendously. It's very dense and then it turns into a tooth looking color. We then take these little golden adapters and then cement them into these cavities where the implants are. Uh, and then uh, this allows us to uh, basically fix the bridge to the implants. So we'll take our little fixation screws and we'll place them down the screw channels that were programmed into the shape of the bridge. And then we have the little screws poking out the bottom that will engage with the implants. So we'll essentially just take our bridge and place it onto the implants and screw it down. So the next little bit is just going to be tightening down the bridge uh, with this little finger driver first and then with our torque wrench. And I'll just say, uh, I'll just take a, a moment to thank uh, our patient here who allowed me to share this footage uh, for the purposes of education and entertainment and just kind of showing what we as dentists do on a daily basis. I thought it would be a, an interesting way to interact and share some kind of fun cases that we do. Uh, so this is our torque wrench. We are going to tighten our screws down to the specified torque level. It has a little brake action that breaks once it's reached the torque level. And then we'll adjust the torque to the the proper tightness, which is that higher bar, 35 Newton centimeters, and then we'll tighten it down the rest of the way. Another thing I'd say is that uh, I'm hoping to use this device uh, a whole lot more and record more procedures and share it uh, online for, like I say, just kind of entertainment and interest sake. And if anybody has any questions about dentistry in general, then feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to answer them as I can. So once the implant bridge has been torqued down, we're going to check the bite with this little bite paper or articulating paper, we call it. And then that will mark any high spots on the implants. I'll usually leave implants just a hair out of the bite because they're, they're so solid. It's essentially fused to the bone and they don't have any give to them. So any contact really feels like a, an interference, like it's high in the bite. So I'll just leave it a hair out. Um, once we have made any adjustments to the bite, if it needs it, we will um, dry out the screw channels and then start to plug them up. We actually put in some Teflon tape first to cover up the screw head so that uh, if we ever need to access the screw to remove the bridge or for whatever reason, then we can just drill into the screw channel and remove this Teflon tape so that we can access the screw. So basically just tighten down some of this Teflon tape and then pack it in with this little packer instrument. And we'll do that for both screw channels. By the way, this is a, this is a procedure that we're actually usually able to do without freezing. Um, this, the type of implant that we use, this tissue level implant is, it's usually pretty, pretty forgiving and, uh, and we don't even need to freeze. The patient will feel it kind of compress the gum tissue, but it's not really a painful process. Even the procedure of placing dental implants is not usually people say it's not even as bad as having a tooth out with, uh, with proper freezing. 
So we'll pack down our second screw channel with Teflon tape. And then the rest of the way we cover it up just using a standard dental filling material. We'll dry it off thoroughly here. And then uh, this is called flowable composite that is well, you can be used in a standard filling in certain situations. So we'll cover up the screw hole, usually overfill it a little bit, and then we'll light cure the material that hardens it from a flowable paste into a solid. And then we'll just trim down the overfilled screw channels so that it's flush with the rest of the bridge so that there aren't any high spots. And then that's pretty much it. There's an x-ray showing the bridge installed over the two implants. Uh, I would anticipate nothing but long-term success in a case like this. And then here's a photo showing the bridge in place. So I hope that was enjoyable. If, uh, if anybody has any questions or requests, then feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you.